Welcome back to another one of my videos. Today I'm going to be talking about The Gray Man, which is the newest movie from director Anthony and Joe Russo. Most recently they've directed Cherry and now this movie, which were are both just like kind of very meh movies. <laughs> Cherry was very disappointing. You can it's a very it's very complicated in my opinion on that movie. You can go watch my review of Cherry. But they're back this year and they've directed a movie for Netflix called The Gray Man. Not even gonna lie, I totally had a fun time with this movie. There's a fantastic action sequence with a train in this movie. There's some interesting visuals in this movie that make it more fun to watch, but this is a very, very, very fast paced movie with like very minimal room to breathe. Even during the moment before the third act where the character's feeling down, even that moment was very rushed and very glossed over. There's a main, there's a subplot where one of the characters is dealing with like father, like abusive father issues. It was just something maybe they're just didn't want to fully explore, or maybe they didn't have enough time, or they wanted to keep it fast paced, or maybe they're gonna explore it in the next movie, because I feel like there's gonna be a sequel. There's like a whole CIA thing, and they're, they just really suck for some reason. And I just asked the question, like, why do, why are they so bad? Like, why did the CIA just not care about collateral damage kind of thing? It was just like, it's interesting, because it's called the Gray Man, and he's supposed to be, be, he's supposed to be like, right in the middle of like morality kind of thing, but they don't really fully explore that, which is something I wish they could have had. There was the dynamic between him and, or the great man, Ryan Gosling, and like the daughter character, which was interesting. I loved their interactions together. They were great. The ending was good as well. It was like, oh, okay, um, uh, yeah, I, uh, I'll go along with this kind of idea. But yeah, like Ryan Gosling, didn't really have like a character arc or anything at the end of the movie. Um, it more just sets up a sequel, but definitely like my favorite part of the whole movie was Chris Evans. <laughs> Chris Evans playing the villain of the movie was hilarious to me because he played it so well. He was just being such a weird dude. Hey, sunshine. Nice try, pumpkin. Morons! And he was like, he was just an interesting villain just because of the way he acted in the whole movie. He was just a terrible person like all around, but it's like he's supposed to be a CIA agent kind of thing. So it's like, well, that's interesting. <laughs> uh, Ryan Gosling character himself, like all the characters interacting with one another were, were interesting. Like I liked the dialogue. And like it's definitely just a simple fun movie. Most people will have a good time with it. If you if you think really hard about some of the beats of the plot or just like character decisions, you might be like, okay, but like why though? And like just the whole setup for the entire plot is just like, I guess, doesn't fully make sense. Yeah, but and then like they there was also like a whole, all the drone shots. It was an interesting idea, it just didn't fit here because they were way too fast. Normally for like establishing shots you have just a slow drone shot, but this is like a really fast one going through the whole castle. It's just like, it's like we need to establish the location, not get a headache. It was entertaining, <laughs> I enjoyed myself kind of thing, and I think I'd, I'd give this movie like a 6 out of 10. Alright, that's it for the review, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Be sure to be on the lookout for more reviews, I'm gonna be out here watching more movies and hopefully giving more reviews out. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy that video. I'll see you guys next time.